today I want to show you a plain coffee shop. Now these are starting to become a little bit popular in Thailand, there's one or two about, and in fact the big 747 cafe, the famous one, is just about another 10 kilometers down Soy 77, which is right behind the camera. But this one here, which is called MD82 Cafe, because it's got a McDonnell Douglas MD82, you hardly ever see it mentioned, hardly any tourists come to. And that's what I've been trying to do in my videos, different places where people don't come. But this one is quite interesting because you can go up and you can walk along the wing. That's a, a different thing about this coffee shop. So I wanted to show you this because I can say I want to keep to videos where people don't go. Now I don't want to recommend this place really. I want to show you what it's like and if you think there's a vibe, if you think good for photos, you're in the area, you want something different, come and hang out here. But I don't really want to specifically sit down and say yeah, come here. So let's start off with the food and the drink, see what it's like. Let's get on board and let's see what's going on in this place. And the last thing I will just say here is this has got a big cannabis vibe now. This place has been here a few years and they've like done the whole cannabis thing, which is really big in Thailand. So there's going to be a lot of cannabis going on, which I'm going to completely leave out. Anyway, let's go on board. So here we are at the entrance to the cafe and into the plane. So let's go through. And we've got a kind of a reception area here some things going on some more seats here but they direct you straight up this walkway onto the plane so let's take a walk up here and this is not like an open walkway on a plane it's all air conditioned but it's quite cool it feels like you're going up onto a plane although the steps are a little bit narrow and there's quite a lot of little steps here as well then we get to the door now the door's still here, but it's been covered in this aluminium sheet and it looks pretty tatty to be honest. Got the big handle here, but this is all stopped and you can see how the fuselage has been built into this plasterboard wall. But nice, I think this has really been nicely done. Now if we go in, I've got to watch my head. Got a load of switches here, got the cockpit here, which I'll come back to in a minute. Got the toilet here, which I'll check out in a minute. And then if we walk into the main body of the fuselage, it's been pretty nicely laid out. Now these planes have quite a lot of seats in them, like 130, 150 when they're going crammed in. But this has been really spread out and there's probably only about 30 odd seats in here. And most of it's been done in two rows of three. You can see quite a few here. Then we've got a seating area here, kind of like a lounge style here where everyone can sit around. Quite nice, we've got these lounge seats here. And then if we get to the end, you can see we've got a bar. That's really like business class in the old days. We've got a bar here, so this kind of place is going in the evenings more than in the daytime. But it's kind of pretty nice actually. And I like also the use the trolleys here still to give it that vibe. And the staff are wearing airline uniforms. Quite a lot of room in here, but it does feel a little bit cramped in. And I'm 185 centimeters and you can see, I can rub my head on that. So anyway, let's see what the food's like next. So let's look at the menu and straight away you can see the cannabis leaf here. We're gonna be hit up with cannabis products as is the fashion now. And immediately we've got cannabis products here and cannabis tea. We'll spin straight past that. Got smoothies, got tea and coffee, got mocktails, cocktails, and then international food. Quite funny to see pad thai, thai green curry, lumped in with the international foods. Big page of pizza, page of spaghetti, but really what we get to is the big theme is Japanese food here. So surprisingly, this is a Japanese food themed restaurant and you can see they've dubbed it landing set. And these are kind of like the special offers as well, the good value ones. We've got quite a few pages of this. We've got sushi, we've got rice, we've got rolls, and we've got salad then. And we've got Thai food, but it actually comes in big sets. So you can't order, come in here and order cow pat or cow man guy. You starting at $5.99 for a big set of Thai food. So interesting tactic. Then you got desserts and you got alcohol because obviously this place goes on until late in the night. And then you've actually got VIP rooms here.
So I've ordered two things to try here. The salmon salad and the spaghetti bolognese. Pretty stock, pretty default, quite nice big chunky bowls. The salmon salad has got like the egg paste on top. It's got salmon, it's got tomatoes. Okay, salmon salad tried out. Let's move on to the spaghetti. So it's time to check out the toilet. Nope. That is definitely not a toilet anymore. So let's go and look at the cockpit. But we've still got some of the bare bones of the cockpit here. We've got some levers here. We've got screens and switches here. A lot more switches and lights. And again, a lot more switches and meters here as well. But they're all kind of long since disused. Now they've got a big screen up here, which is switched off at the moment. And here we've got like a joystick. It says Cessna on it, but this is, looks like a computer game. So I think what probably you could do or you can do is you can play a computer game flying and it comes up on the screen here. I think it's a bit of a shame. What would have been better is to leave it all as a cockpit and leave the windows in front. They boxed this all off with like a cheap wooden paneling. Which doesn't look very nice at all and it's kind of made it a lot more small. I think it would be much better to leave the original cockpit. You could sit in here and you could look out and you could look out on what's going on outside. That would have been much more cool. So you can come in here and you can take a few photos, but it's kind of very small, very cramped in here. You've really not got that cockpit vibe. That's kind of missing from this place. And the shade still works. If you want to reduce the light, the sunlight, you can drop the shades down. I order cappuccino. It's a bit of a way off that. I'm not sure they have a coffee machine. This feels more like it's coming out of a very basic machine, but it's hot, it's okay. So up here we have some lights, which still work. And we have a directional light here that doesn't move. And then you have a plug and two USB ports. So they've got a little bit of footage of this plane before it came here and as they're bringing it and in pieces, and I think I've actually seen this when it was broken up into pieces. It was on the way up towards Ayotir. You can see some footage of them loading the fuselage down and then fitting it out. Lunch done. Let's have a little poke around this plane. To be honest, I wouldn't really recommend coming here in the day for lunch. It's very, very quiet. Just kind of felt a little bit weird, a bit strange sitting on a plane having lunch. No atmosphere. I mean, maybe at night, gets a lot busier, gets a lot more going on. These staircases all open, going up into the sky, are really popular in Thai coffee shops now. They're a real feature where people go, take selfies, take photos, but I never had one that actually goes up onto a wing before. And you can see you can step right onto the wing and you can actually walk right up the wing, which isn't really that safe, to be honest, I would have said, and especially at nighttime when people have been drinking a bit of beer, but you can walk right onto this wing and right up to the fuselage. That's pretty amazing. That's quite epic. And to be honest, that actually is something very, very different. I feel like I'm in a movie here where the guy is hanging onto the wing when the plane is flying along like a James Bond type movie. Okay, so to be honest, having lunch in here wasn't a fantastic vibe. So there's a little bit on the boarding side, but this is kind of like a little bit extra. And I think if you can come up here on the wing and you can take photos, then that's quite a cool vibe, quite a cool thing to do. And that makes it a lot more interesting. So let me see if I can steer myself down without falling. So we have a few kind of stock ornaments as well. These robots made out of steel parts, made out of bits of metal, out of cogs, out of washers, out of bolts, out of engine bits. They're really popular. And we've got one here, a monster like that. Then we have a clock tower and that is real Thai style. And then we have an English phone box with a twist. We have the captain's telephone instead of a normal 
coin operated phone. Hello, this is your captain speaking. We are flying at 30,000 feet. We're about to experience some turbulence, so please fasten your seatbelts. We hope you've enjoyed flying with us. Well, actually, no, this phone is completely dead, but it's good for photos. You won't find an English phone box anywhere else with an aircraft phone in it. So with all the cannabis stuff going on here, someone's having a bit of a sense of humour. So here are the VIP rooms where you can have a kind of exclusive group meetings. Aside from the menu, which starts off with cannabis products, there's such a cluster of little shops and a cannabis theme going on here. So at the back of the plane, they have a ramp, which actually is very, very steep. I was thinking this would be like wheelchair access, but there is no way you could push anyone up here. So I guess when they're busy, people come up the stairs and they come down here. But it's very, very steep. Certainly old folks and things couldn't get up it. You could actually turn this into a sl kid slide, I think would be more fun. It's steep enough. But no idea why they've actually got that there.